now we got to know about the chemical and physical properties of acids and bases by performing various activities. And today we shall know about that our the crystals of salt dry. So we shall know whether the crystals of salts are really dry or not. And even to know about this, we need to perform an activity. And the relative activity in your textbook will be 2.15. So let us perform the activity and find the answer for this question. So are the crystals of salt really dry or not? Crystals of salts are really dry. Let's perform a quick experiment. All we would need for this experiment is a burner, a test tube and a test tube holder. We would also need a few crystals of copper sulfate. Before we begin our experiment, could you tell me the color of the crystals? Yes, it's blue. The crystals look dry, don't they? But are they really dry? Let's find out. Now let's add these crystals in this dry test tube and heat it. What do you notice after some time? You notice that the color of the crystals turn grayish white. And did you observe the water droplets on the test tube? Why does this happen? It's because when copper sulfate is heated, it loses its water molecules. And that's why it turns grayish white in color. When it's dry, it's referred to as anhydrous copper sulfate. And what do you think will happen when we add water to it again? After adding water to anhydrous copper sulfate, it becomes blue again. The chemical formula for hydrated copper sulfate is CuSO4.5H2O. Yes, there are five water molecules you can see. This water is called the water of crystallization. Water of crystallization is the fixed number of water molecules present in one formula unit of a salt. So we can say that five water molecules are present in one formula unit of copper sulfate. And when heated, it loses its water molecules. Another example is that of ferrous sulfate. It has a green color due to the presence of seven water molecules in it. So though the crystals look dry, they aren't really dry. Another salt which possesses water of crystallization is gypsum. It's a hydrated salt of calcium and its chemical formula is CaSO4.2H2O. What is it used for? When we heat gypsum at 373 Kelvin, it loses its water molecules to give us plaster of Paris. Have you heard of plaster of Paris before? Yes, it's a substance which doctors use as a support for fractured bones. It's also used in the construction industry and in making casts for statues and also making design of false ceilings. Its chemical name is calcium sulfate hemihydrate and its chemical formula is this. CaSO4 and half a molecule of water. After addition of water, plaster of Paris is again converted into gypsum. Okay, are you wondering how we are able to see just half a water molecule here? Is that possible? It's written like this because two formula units of calcium sulfate share one water molecule. And why do you think it's called plaster of Paris? Does it have anything to do with the city named Paris in France? Plaster of Paris was first made many, many years ago and has been used by ancient Egyptian and Roman civilizations. However, it wasn't used on a large scale until the 17th century when it was required to be used in almost all the construction in Paris. In the year 1666, a fire raged across London, destroying many parts of it. In its aftermath, the King of France ordered that all walls made of wood in Paris be immediately covered with plaster as a protection against such fires. This resulted in large-scale mining of gypsum 
which was available around Paris in huge quantities. Thus, during the early 18th century, Paris became the center of plaster production and hence the name Plaster of Paris. Now we got to know clearly about the crystallization of salt. So in the, in the video, we also came to know about the water of crystallization. So what is water of crystallization? That means usually we will think water is a, water will be present in the liquid form. But water can be crystallized and we can see the crystallized water in the solid. So but what is water of crystallization? How can we define water of crystallization? So this can be defined as water of crystallization is the fixed number of water molecules present in one formula unit of a salt. So water of crystallization is nothing but the, it's a fixed number of water molecules. Okay, It has a fixed number of water molecules. That molecule will be present in a salt but in the form of crystals. Okay, that is called as water of crystallization. And through the video, we got to know the different types of chemicals. Then the different types of uh, we have seen the CuSO4. It's nothing but the copper sulfate. But for this copper sulfate, if we add a coin molecule of water, then it will be become as the hydrated copper sulfate. Only this much is copper sulfate. But on addition of water, now it will become hydrated copper sulfate. Hydrated copper sulfate. Whereas similarly, Na2CO3, it is sodium carbonate. On addition of H2O water, then it will become sodium carbonate, that is hydrated sodium carbonate. So it will be hydrated sodium carbonate. Hydrated sodium carbonate and one more that is calcium sulfate. It is copper sulfate and this one is calcium sulfate. On addition of two molecules of water, this calcium sulfate, it will get converted into hydrated Hydrated calcium sulfate. And this hydrated calcium sulfate spread is it is also known as the gypsum. It is also known as Gypsum, G Y P S U M. Gypsum. So, what is gypsum? When calcium sulfate is added with two molecules of water, then that calcium sulfate it will get converted to hydrated calcium sulfate, and the hydrated calcium sulfate it is also called as gypsum. But if we heat the gypsum once again, then it will lose the water molecule, and again it will. Calcium, hydrated calcium sulfate, but this term it will be half of the water molecule, and hence it is called hemihydrated calcium sulfate. It is hemihydrated calcium sulfate. So CaSO4 with two molecules of water is hydrated calcium sulfate it is also called as gypsum whereas CaSO4 with half molecule of water is called calcium hydrates hemi hemi means half okay half molecule of water that means heavy hydrated calcium sulfate now this is also called as POP that is called plaster of Paris so what is POP it is the plaster of Paris. And we already know about the uses of this gypsum and POP through the video. So on heat, on adding the water molecule for the calcium sulfate, we will get gypsum. But on heating the gypsum, we will get the plaster of Paris. Again, 
if we add a water molecule to the this cluster of paris again we can recreate the calcium sulfate okay so this was about the crystallization of the salts so that sorry this was about the crystals of the salts that means we got to know the crystals of the salt will be dry but even though they are dry they will contain a small amount of water molecules which will also be present in the form of a uh, crystallization okay so i am here comes the end of your chapter that is the acid base side salts so complete your notes and in the home assignments on time and submitted up to date and in the next class we shall start another new chapter thank you